If putting things on a task list was enough to get them done, I'd be in great shape because I add hundreds of things to task lists each month. Unfortunately, it's not quite that simple. Putting them on a list isn't the same thing as figuring out how or when we'll get them done. Practical time management advice tells us that in order to complete our tasks, we need to schedule them by moving them to the calendar and setting aside actual time to accomplish them. Otherwise, if you've learned like I have, they just tend to accumulate on the list, never actually getting done. Because Outlook is a Windows program, this is actually a simple process. All we have to do is drag and drop it to the calendar to complete this critical step. So what we're going to do is move from the task list over to the calendar itself. Once we have the calendar displayed, it really kind of depends on your personal style, but I prefer to work with the day, the work week, or the week view because then we can actually drag these tasks to a specific time slot. Let's go ahead and choose work week. So far, so good. But the next thing we have to do is be able to see our task list while we're looking at our calendar. And this is one of those things that unless you happen across it or somebody tells you, it may not be too obvious. So let me give you the hint. We need to go to the view tab and we need to take a look at the option called daily task list, which is in the layout group. By displaying this dropdown, we can choose normal. And we can see this small pane shows up at the bottom of our screen. Because we're currently looking at the work week, it kind of has things in columns. Everything due today shows up under today's date. We can do things to modify this list as well if we want. Notice at the very top, there's a little header that says show tasks on due date. If we right click on this bar, we can also choose to show them by start date. And we can also choose whether we want to see completed tasks or not. So just a couple of things to help us organize the way that we need to. Now, how do we actually convert these tasks to calendar items? Well, as we said, it's simply a matter of drag and drop. So if we want to schedule a time to call Sarah and we want to do that today, we simply press on the call Sarah task, drag it right up onto the calendar. And maybe we think we want to call Sarah about 1030 in the morning. So we'll drop it in the 1030 slot. That's it. We've just converted a task to a calendar item. Notice that we do still have the item on our task list so we can track it, or if it was assigned to us, we can even send progress reports and those types of things. But that's basically all there is to it. Let's go ahead and do one more, though, just for fun. All the way over on the right-hand side, we have to prepare a merger update presentation. This is something that needs to be done by Friday, but we're going to actually do it after lunch today. So we'll grab a hold of it. We'll drag it over onto the calendar, move it to right about 1230 or so and let it go. Now, unfortunately, preparing a merger update presentation is not going to be as quick as calling Sarah. So we're going to scroll down a little bit, and we're going to adjust this by selecting the calendar item, grabbing a hold of one of the sizing boxes, and dragging it out so it designates the appropriate amount of time, probably a couple of hours to complete the presentation. As you can see, working with items once they're on the calendar from the task list is just like they were created on the calendar itself. We can do things like setting reminders and all of those types of things. But we've kind of done a nice workflow by adding it to the task list, by either entering it as a task or by using a follow-up flag. Then we're simply moving it from the list to actually setting aside time to get it done. This is so easy, but I find that so many people keep tasks on their task list and never get around to actually setting aside time to get them all done and then they wonder why they don't get those things accomplished. We simply need to make sure that if we understand it needs to be scheduled, to go ahead and schedule it by dragging and dropping it from the task list to the calendar. This is all just part of a great, smooth workflow that Outlook assists us with. Add things to the task list, either as a task or by setting a follow-up, and then drag those things onto the calendar so we make sure that we have scheduled time to finish them and complete them when they're due. Now that we know it's simply a matter of drag and drop, we also know that there's no more excuses. We're just going to be productive and get things done.